I think the most inspiring thing for me in the last 12 months have been the hundreds of thousands of people that have picked up the torch since the Games, run with it, and brought creativity and energy and excitement to the legacy projects, whether it's about getting more young people involved in sport, getting them into the habits of physical exercise before they're 10 or 12, uh, the organisations out there that have sprung up around the Games, and Sported is a really good example of that. This is a charity that has fundamentally understood the importance of not only creating more opportunities for young people to play sport, but creating an infrastructure around them so that community-based clubs are able to drive that legacy forward 50 years with people that are experienced and have mentors available to help them. I chose Sported to become a patron because it was the charity, it was the foundation that was most close to my heart. You know, when we think about what, what it was that we said in Singapore. It was about using sport to transform the lives of young people, to encourage them to choose sport as a way of life. And that's not simply just going to happen because we want it to happen, as virtuous as that ambition is. It will only happen because we create the framework through which young people not only have the inspiration to compete and to want to take part, and we think the Games has done that, but then an organisation, a structure, that will be able to absorb that spike of interest and provide the mentoring and the support services that allow those clubs to grow and continue to grow and provide that vital service at a community level. I don't think you could have come through the sport I came through and through some of the neighbourhoods that I trained in and competed in, both in industrial South Yorkshire and some hard-pressed communities in north-east London, particularly around Haringey, which was my athletics club when I came to London, without recognising that those clubs are far more than just organisations that identify talent, nurture it and develop it, and hopefully I one day present them with the opportunities of competing for Team GB. This was much more about creating an anchor point in the lives of young people. Maybe those coaches, the only male role models in their weekly existence. So recognising that sport is the most extraordinary bridgehead to young people and their ambitions, but also recognising that the most potent social worker in all our communities is normally the community-based sports club. The difference between a good games and a great games are the volunteers. In our case in London, the games makers, who to this day remain the toast of cities around the world. The difference between good legacy and great legacy will be those volunteers. They are the people that are cutting sandwiches in clubhouses, ironing kit, raking sandpits, marshalling on cross-country courses, coaching, mentoring, administering, parenting. Those are the people that will create the legacy that will be lasting. So for me, Sported is not just simply about resourcing. It's about attracting more creative people with experience and perspective into the lives of those clubs. Because actually, if you are a retired accountant, you have a background in financial services, you are a former coach that thought maybe those days are over and your family's left and, you know, and, and you've got a bit more time on your hands, go back, into those, go back into those clubs because the difference you will make is monumental.